Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Uh, I got a custom e-bike build. I want to talk a little bit about, I want to go over what components I used, who this bike is for, and I want to put it through some Johnny Nerd Out performance tests. If you're new to the channel, I'm Johnny Nerd Out. I'm a professional e-bike mechanic builder for the last two plus years. I've converted probably over 100 bikes. Uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment. Um, I'm going to be putting out a lot more content like this. So if you like this, stay tuned. Okay, so for today's custom build, we have a fat tire bike. Um, the purpose of this bike was to be a dirt bike motocross alternative, something that had no emissions but still had lots of power that could just go anywhere and gobble up trails. So let's get into the components and why I chose each one. So for the motor, I decided to go with the Cyclone 3000 watt mid-drive motor because this puts out a lot of power. It can recreate having a gas-powered motor better than a Bafang or something like that. This just has a lot more power capability. It's a bigger motor, bigger magnets, everything on it is bigger and beefier. So you could put tons of power to this thing and it can handle it. The controller is the stock 40 amp controller that comes with the kit. The battery I chose is a Cali bike, 72 volt, 20 amp hour. Uh, I wanted something with a lot of amp hour rating so that you could be out on the trail and put 30, 40 miles on between charges so you wouldn't just be out there for 15 minutes and then have to charge again. The only major accessory that I added here is a chain guide slash chain tensioner. Um, just to keep the chain on. These things are notorious for having the chain pop off. At least that's been my experience. The throttle has a built-in key ignition to it and it also has a built-in voltmeter to it, which is nice because it'll actually show you your state of charge. So it's kind of like having a gas gauge on your battery because um, that's pretty much the only display that this bike has, but it does show you your state of charge, which is nice. The reason why I went with this frame is because I felt like it, it, the bigger tires, the fat bike frame, was able to handle this power that this is gonna be putting out. I felt like a smaller hardtail, full suspension bike, li something lighter would have flexed too much under the power that this puts out. So this bike, I just feel like handles this power much better, it's better suited, and it was affordable as well. Gravity bikes are generally more affordable than a name brand but they still put out decent quality bikes and you could upgrade them just fine to suit your needs. So I felt like this was a great blank canvas to start on. The single speed is what I was looking for so I could get a nice straight chain line and I wanted something with fat tires so that they could go anywhere. Like I wanted to be able to go loose trails, hard pack trails, sand, water, and I wanted to feel confident going over everywhere too. And I, this bike, I think hits all those points and I'm really happy with this build. Overall, this bike is one of my favorite bikes that I've built. It's a blast. There's nothing like having this power and this quiet compared to like a dirt bike. This thing puts out similar power to like 100, 150 cc four stroke. It's just so much fun. It's like an angry hornet. It's just, it, it wants to go fast and it's kind of unruly, but it's it's fun. It's just so much fun to ride. This is definitely not a beginner bike. This is for somebody that's used to riding dirt bikes, motocross, something of that nature. Now I'm not saying this is more powerful than like a 250 or something, but it's just as much fun. And this could climb almost any hill as long as you get like a little running start with it. As long as the RPMs of the motor are up, this thing will take you up any hill, just like any, any dirt bike though. Hey guys, hope you liked this video. Uh, I had a blast making this bike, riding it around. Make sure that you like, subscribe. I'm curious to see what you guys would like to see added to this bike or what you might do if this was your bike. Um, you guys have had some great ideas in the past, so I look forward to reading them in the comments below and appreciate you guys. Thanks.